Ladies and gentlemen, before we hop in the video, we have an exclusive New Year sale for Kaizen training. Whether you want to lose fat, gain muscle, or gain strength, we have programs that will help you out. Use code 2019 for 40% off all programs. Today is the last day. Click the link in the bio or check out kaizentraining.com right now. That's code 2019. Save 40% off. Tell your friends. Appreciate you. Good luck with your new goals. Ladies and gentlemen, Silent Mike back again. Another video today. Today we're going to talk about how to build your best chest, the best exercises and workouts to build big pecs. But before we get into the topic, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, check me out on Twitch. We're live streaming every single day, building a very, very fun community. Check out my podcast, 50% Facts, drops every Wednesday on iTunes, Spotify, anywhere you want to hear it. Let's dig in. So I was on Instagram and I wanted to get your guys' feedback. You can also comment below here anytime you want to bring up a topic, a rant, have a question, and I'll answer it in upcoming videos. But my man asks, how can I build the best chest? What exercises are best for chest gains? And for me, what's worked over time, not that my chest is some chiseled artwork from Michelangelo, but what I've found the best gains are is kind of a threefold method uh, based around strength and progress like everything else. If we want to progress in something, we have to slowly overload. Uh, and so overloading, the basics of it is we have to progress in some way. And every week, once you become a little bit more advanced or even intermediate lifter, you can't just start adding pounds to the bar. So we have to progress in either reps, doing more reps, doing more sets, or eventually adding small increments of weight. Um, I always focus on strength with my first movement and the first movement, bada boom, bada bing, take your best guess, it is. It's the bench press. Uh, the flat barbell bench press allows us to build the most amount of strength. It's the movement that most people can lift the most amount of weight for long term. And so therefore stimulating our muscles correctly. What we want to do is train a variety of not necessarily angles because there's only two main muscles to the pecs. There's the pec major and pec minor. The pec major is kind of a shield like kind of what you see and then the pec minor is a smaller muscle that kind of runs underneath it. Um, but we do want to hit a variety of rep ranges to stimulate different muscle fibers, continue to build strength and also get a different stretch and stimulus onto the muscle. So the barbell bench press is what I like to start out with. I like to use it as a strength training method and we'll train um, maybe two to three times a week with a variety of reps. So the first session of the week might be sets of three to five, three to five sets of three to five, a little bit heavier, maybe in the 80% range. The second session might be a little bit lighter. We're gonna do maybe three sets of maybe six to 10 reps. And then the last one might be a little bit lighter, but lower reps. And it might again be sets of three to five, but using maybe 70% range. So we're kind of hitting all boundaries, all repetitions while stimulating the muscle, while allowing us to progress, right? So we have the strength training from the barbell, sets of three to five, 80%, a little bit lighter reps, six to 10 reps, maybe 55 to 70%. And then again, we're doing about 60 to 70%. We're gonna do triples or fives and work on our form, kind of a flush out, kind of a practice session. Now, the second movement in our workout, what's worked really well for me is some kind of hammer strength, incline press, unilateral, if you have that at your gym, or just a dumbbell incline press. Now, what we're gonna be able to do is really squeeze those pecs. We're gonna get a slightly uh, higher pec stimulation, working the muscle fibers on top. Uh, you, I like a really small angle. Some people go all the way up to 45. I like much steeper than that. So it's just a little bit above a, a flat bench. And I'm gonna use a, a higher rep ranges. So again, maybe we're doing that two to three times a week. <clears throat> one day, maybe we're doing sets of seven, uh, fairly hard, saving one or two in the tank. And then the other session, we're gonna do sets of maybe 10 to 12, saving a few in the tank. Uh, the very last exercise that I enjoy is the fly. Uh, pec fly is a great movement, isolation at the end of the uh, workout. Uh, I use these a little bit higher rep range so you don't try to stress the weight too much. Maybe we'll do the sep same rep range every single workout, somewhere between eight and 12, maybe even 10 and 15. And what we'll try to do is use similar loads and each week just add a rep or add a set to the flies. I prefer a cable fly, particularly the cable fly machine with the adjustable arms. I just feel that it's smooth and it allows constant tension on the pecs and it feels really good on my shoulders. Rather than a dumbbell fly, there is some um, portion of the movement that has less uh, resistance in it because of gravity, etc., cetera, uh, and leverages, but the cables, there's constant tension. It feels really, really healthy on my joints and that's how I like to finish that out. I also finish out some of my workouts just to feel good. Now the pump is a little bit overrated. 
A pump may, some muscle damage does allow for muscle progress, but it's not the number one factor. It's overload over time. But leaving the gym with a nice pump from push-ups, I do three sets at the end, maybe with some tricep push downs to feel good and end my push day. Um, other things, other factors, we always wanna keep and focus in on our form. I always like to keep one or two reps in the tank. As soon as you go to failure, multiple things are gonna happen. If you go to failure on any of these exercises, besides maybe the push-up, um, the push-up might be okay. But other exercises, one, you're gonna allow for technical breakdown the closer you get to failure, and more technical breakdown, uh, for one, allows uh, a chance higher risk of injury, and two, if we stimulate the muscle too much, then we can't get the frequency over time. If you do three sets of 10 all out on Monday, and you're supposed to bench Wednesday, you're gonna be too fatigued to have optimal performance. Rather than on Monday, we'll do three sets of 10, saving one or two in the tank. Now Wednesday, we're fresh enough to also do three sets of six at a high performance with good load. And now we can get more volume over the week, over the month, over the year. And that's what is going to allow us to progress over time. Now again, to build any kind of muscle to progress in the gym, we need to really focus in our hydration, the basics, right? It's a new year. Hopefully we got some new viewers here, new subscribers, and maybe you don't uh, know as much about nutrition and this is your first time really getting into this thing. Uh, hydration is gonna be key. So what I tend to recommend is take your body weight in pounds, divide it by two, and that's how many ounces of water you should aim for to drink in the day. Now that's a very broad category, but that's gonna be a really good start. Uh, another thing is a calorie surplus if you're trying to gain muscle and get jacked and gain strength. So whatever calories you need to eat, maintenance to allow you to stay the same weight, we need to eat a little bit more than that to allow us to build muscle and build mass over time. Uh, you can refer back to another video I talked about how to gain weight, how to lose weight, uh, the basics kind of of how to track food. Uh, and then number three, even though we love to be social creatures and we love to stay up till 2 a.m. playing Call of Duty blackout with your friends and giggling on Xbox Live, we need to get our sleep. So uh, sleep pattern is gonna be very important. A routine sleep pattern is gonna be very important and how many hours. So you know, whatever it might be, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 hours of sleep, but keeping it consistent, keeping it routine will allow for the most optimal uh, gains in the gym and out of the gym to keep your brain moving on the right level, guys. Uh, comment below, let me know what you think. Let me know what you want me to cover next. I appreciate you guys so much. Give this thing a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Solomon Mike. Find me on Instagram, Twitter, 50% Facts, and on Twitch. I'll catch you guys in the next video.